Well, and Jenny's warned mamas, don't let your babies grow up to be cowboys. Yeah, but some of them disobeyed and they did it anyway. They went to Stillwater? Yeah, they're going to do whatever they want. <laughs> I tell my kids to stop growing up, but they never listen. They never listen. Tonight, Galen Culver has the story of one young cowboy who took to the life without any encouragement at all. North Logan County on a fine spring afternoon, and 15 year old Jake Zerden is training a pony he'd like to sell one of these days. Put your hands down. He'd be out here every day if there weren't other things going on. Lots of afternoons he's serving an apprenticeship at Ray Dorwart's bootmaking shop in Guthrie. Yes, sir. Yep. It's a life that's just about as steep in cowboy as a kid can get, so you might be surprised to know a few years ago. We lived in the city for pretty much all my life. He wasn't crazy about the idea of moving to the country either. I thought I'd hate it. Clearly, Jake took to life on a ranch. A friend gave him a ride on his first horse, then volunteered him at a local rodeo where he saw his first bull riding event. After that, the Spurs really dug in. That was it. <laughs> yeah. That's what I wanted to do. His parents weren't crazy about the idea of Jake riding bulls, but he just couldn't stay away. After the second month, I was getting on practice bulls pretty much every day. At age 14, he entered the National Little Britches Rodeo Finals and won the junior bull riding event. He was the only participant to stay on for all three go rounds. Good bull, good ride. That event was last July. This is a stock shoot that they used at the Lazy Arena. Last week, Jake got a little more recognition than just his collection of buckles. Founder Richard Hendricks made him the youngest ever entry into his Oklahoma Sports Museum in Guthrie. Uh, we felt like since he was local in uh, Oklahoma and won a championship the first time he tried. Jake had to go up in age group category in bull riding. He's facing better competition now. Bigger, stronger, faster, ranker. But he's still at it. Say what you will about peaking too early, or whether he really deserves space on the wall with the likes of Jim Shoulders, Billy Ed Bauer, or some of the other rodeo greats. All those guys got early starts to the cowboy life. This suburban cowboy is just happy to be here and ready to ride again. In Guthrie, Galen Culver, News 4. Is this a great state or what? Well, Jake had to take a little break from riding bulls this winter. He hurt his shoulder and had to have some minor surgery. Interesting, though, it was not a rodeo injury, rather, baseball is what took him out for a little while. It's always something. Yeah.